Hello, 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 and welcome to LeoGuzmanStudio.com. I am Leo Guzman, and I am excited to be here today because we are going to be talking and drawing about power animals. Okay, and so what is a power animal, and why is this important to us? So, power animals are particularly important because each animal has its specific characteristics, strengths. Things about them that are actually related to us as humans, right? And a lot of times,、uh, we might have certain like difficulties that we might think are something bad, but in reality, it might be something that can be good. Okay, and I'm going to give you some examples of what I mean by this. So,、um, for example, if you wanted your power animal to be An ant, for example, you're like, I feel like mine is an ant, and someone might think that might be bad because they're so tiny, right? So what's powerful about that? But if you actually look up about an ant, they can actually lift forty times their weight. So that's pretty powerful, right? And then maybe someone might say, you know what? Maybe my power animal is a sloth. Maybe I'm feeling a little lazy or slow. But that doesn't mean that it's a negative thing. Moving slowly is actually a strength, right? How can we slow down and really enjoy what's around us, right? We don't have to be moving so fast. So when you pick your power animal, there is really no right or wrong. It's just picking an animal that resonates with you. And I wouldn't even think too hard about it. Just Pick the first one that pops into your mind, and then go with it and have fun with it. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you some little tricks and tools that I use along the way to、uh, draw imagery of of animals, and then how to look up their strengths. Okay, so you will need your sketchbook, right?、Um, you could use. Like a black sharpie, they're really great for outlining. If you'd like to use markers, this is my Primrosa set. This is really nice. You need markers, or if you want to use some watercolors, you can do that too. So whatever is feeling good for you, you're welcome to use it. And a pencil. I always like starting with pencil just so that I can sketch it out and then block in the color. Okay. So, hmm. Thinking of my power animal, I'm going to choose the lion. That's what came up for me. Okay. I love lions. I think they're beautiful and majestic and regal, and、um, I just think that would be a cool animal to draw.、But、when I think about it, I'm like, well, how am I going to draw a lion? Like, I could just do it from the top of my head, but we have computers now, and so this is an opportunity that we can actually go to the internet and use the internet as a resource and as a light box. So what I like to do is actually. Um, trace out the animal from the internet. I pick one that I like. I'm going to show you a lot of different animals right now. I'm going to pick one, and then I'm going to put my computer, the little light part on my computer. I'm going to put it up really, really high, and then I can put my paper right on top, the piece of from my journal right on top, and then I can trace the outline so that I can block in and design it however I want. Okay, it's a really cool, very easy trick. Um, that can get you started on a drawing. Okay, so I'm going to pick the lion. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and I just googled lion. I just put lion, and then look what came up: all these beautiful lions, right? So I get to decide: do I want like a baby lion, a big lion,、um, one that's oh,、well, this one looks like it's yawning, one that has some fierce teeth. Right, I get to choose what kind of、um, mood or feeling is associated with it. Right, so I actually like the lion that's here on the right, which is right here, and it's just peacefully laying here, and I like that idea. <laughs> it looks nice. It looks like it's relaxing. Right, the lion is basking in the sunlight. I think that's pretty beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my journal, and I'm going to take that one single page, and I'm going to put it right on top of this image 
and I'm going to trace it, okay? So you can either use your journal, a page from your journal, or you could just grab a sheet of paper. Even copy paper is really thin, and it could go right on top for you to trace using your pencil. Because remember, if you don't like some of the lines, you can always erase, okay? So if you need to pause, you're welcome to pause. Find your image of the animal that you choose. There's no right or wrong here. This is just about being expressive and having fun. And go ahead and trace. Now I'm going to show you what I did. I traced it. Dun, 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 dun. As you can see, it's a very loose sketch. Okay. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to add more details with my marker and I'm going to color it in. And I can add the whole scene around it. Like put your animal in an environment. Okay. So I'm going to be showing you that right now. But before I even do that, I want to talk about what does your animal mean? I want you to actually look up on the internet and find out what's the symbolism of, with your animal. Remember I said that each animal has these certain characteristics. And what happens is if we can really start to embrace those characteristics, right, then it can support us when times are challenging or when we need that little boost, right? This is all about build, building our self-esteem and our confidence. So I literally looked up lion symbolism, I Googled it, right? And guess what came up? I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you. There are certain characteristics. So it's confidence, leadership, protection, power, royalty. Ooh, I love the royalty one. Strength and wisdom. Ooh, I love that. That feels so um, powerful to me just to know those characteristics. So I really like the leadership because I like to step into leadership roles. I like the power and the royalty. So I can actually use some of those words in my imagery too. So I'm going to put a crown on my lion because I like the idea that it said royal, right? It's kind of like this regal. So I'm going to put this really cool crown. I'm going to sketch it out. All right, that looks good. And then whatever lines that you don't want, you can just go ahead and erase. You don't like them there. And what we'll do next is I'm going to go ahead and trace out a background. So I'm going to think about where do I want this line to be? So I'm thinking of some like nice rolling hills in the background. And I really want that sun. The sun is important. So I'm going to put a big old sun right behind this line. Oh, right. There we go. So now I have my little loose sketch, and then I can come back again with my marker if I'd like, if I want to outline it. That'll make it pop out a little bit more. I can fill it in. your materials, find your image, and we'll get started in coloring this in. I can't wait to see what you decided to pick. Alright, there's mine. We're ready to color it in.